Hello kids! Another day, another learning! On our previous video, we discussed about the elements of setting. Let us review. We have learned that setting answers the questions where and when. It was further explained that in evaluating narratives based on how the author developed the setting, we have to know the elements of setting. Can you still remember them? The elements of setting are 1. Place 2. Time 3. Weather condition 4. Social condition 5. Mood or atmosphere For this video, we will be discussing about the elements of characters. How do we evaluate narratives based on how the author developed the elements of characters. To understand this, we have to start knowing about characters. Look at these pictures. Can you find these pictures in the story? Yes! In the story, there has to be actors and actresses in order for a story to happen. Who are the actors and actresses in a story? They are the ones who are speaking the dialogue and moving the story along with the plot. They are either persons, animals, beings, creatures, or things performing the actions in the story. Regardless of how many characters a story has, there is always a protagonist and antagonist. Character can either be dynamic, static, round, or flat. Let's examine each of these terms together. What is protagonist? The word protagonist stems from studies of ancient Greek stage drama. The modern meaning is a leading character or one of the major characters in a play, film, or novel. A secondary meaning is an advocate or champion of a particular cause or idea. This comes from the prefix pro meaning for or in support of. So, a protagonist is a main character who typically has a cause or purpose, like for example, saving their world from a tyrant. The protagonist can be a good character but does not always have to be. Example, in the movie The Little Mermaid, Ariel is the protagonist. Her conflict is that she is in love with a human, and her father doesn't understand. In the story Little Red Riding Hood, Red Riding Hood is the protagonist. Her conflict is that the wolf wants to eat her, and she must find out that the wolf is not her grandmother. Now, what is antagonist? An antagonist is usually a character who opposes the protagonist or main character of a story. But the antagonist can also be a group of characters, institution, or force against which the protagonist must contend. The antagonist is usually considered to be bad, but this is not always true. Sometimes, he or she may just have something to learn. Queen in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is an example of a villain antagonist who opposes and wants to destroy Snow White. Let's move on to dynamic character. A dynamic character is a character that changes throughout the story, often as a result of the experiences he or she endures during the story. 
The dynamic character takes time to learn from his encounters, his experiences, and his mistakes as well as the other characters. Sometimes, a character learns a lesson and gains maturity. Main characters are often dynamic. Example, in Disney's Beauty and the Beast, Belle goes from fearing and losing the beast to recognizing that he is kind-hearted and she learns to love him for the person he is underneath his frightening exterior. Next element of character is static character. Static characters are characters that do not change at all throughout the course of the story. Their personalities remain the same. Most minor flat characters are static. Another element of character is the round character. A round character is a character that is well developed in the story. In other words, a round character is more complex. And like a real person, the character has depth and emotion. Round character is usually the main character in a story. We know a lot of details and facts about a round character. Next is the flat character. Flat characters are usually minor characters. They don't play a big part in the story, so you don't know as many details about them. Testing time! Identify what is being described. Choose the letter of your answers. A. We have dynamic. B. Static. C. Round. D. Flat. E. Antagonist. Number 1. Blank, a character whose personality does not change through the course of the story. Number 2. Blank, a character that is well developed, thus we know many aspects to his or her personality, possibly including internal conflicts. Number 3. Blank, a character who is defined by only one or a few qualities and doesn't play a big part in the story. Number 4. Blank, a character who changes over the course of a story. Number 5. Blank, a character who opposes the protagonist. Let's check your answers. Number 1, B. Number 2, C. Number 3, D. Number 4, A. And number 5, E. Let's read a short story and try to analyze the characters later. The Legend of Manatong Written by Anonymous on December 6, 2013 Atong and his wife Manda were a childless couple. They lived on the side of Bugyas Mountains in Benguet, and they were the richest people in the place. All the wide tracts of land around belonged to them. They had many hogs, cattle, and fowls. The man was stone-hearted and selfish. The woman was kind and understanding. She gave rice, vegetables, and fruits to their neighbors when her husband was out. One day, Atong learned that his wife was giving free food to the people. He became angry and scolded his wife. He dug a cave on one side of the mountain and kept everything inside it. They lived inside the cave. When they went out to work, Atong locked it. 
The rainy season came and the people could not go out to work, so they went to the couple for their food. Manda, who was understanding and kind, shared some of what they had. Atong, on the contrary, shouted at them. He drove them away with harsh words. Atong locked the door so that nobody could come in. One night, when Atong was asleep, Manda heard a soft knock at the door. She opened it and found an old beggar trembling with cold. She begged Manda to let her in and feed her. While the beggar was eating, Atong woke up and drove her out. Manda tried to stop him, but he did not listen. Instead, he pushed her out of the cave. Manda pitied the beggar. So she went out to look for her in spite of the darkness and heavy rain. Not long after, there was a big earthquake and the cave was covered. The selfish man was buried alive with a burning fire. The following day, the people found a small crater where hot water was coming out. They tested the water and it was salty because of the salt stored inside the cave. The water was hot because of the burning fire. The people also found a stream of cold water beside it which was believed to be the tears of Manda when she tried to appease Atom. Up to this day, people in the vicinity as well as the visitors use the hot springs as a bathing resort. They call these hot springs Manatong after Manda and Atong. Choose your correct answer inside the parentheses. Number 1. In the story, Atong, Manda, People is the protagonist. Number 2. Neighbors, Atong, Manda is the antagonist character in the story. Number 3. The neighbors, People are considered the flat, round, characters number four to five atom is a dynamic static character because his personality is renamed the same changes throughout the story though in this story he is one of the main characters Now, let's see your answers. Number one, Manda. Number two, Atom. Number three, Flat. Number four, Static. Number five, Remain the Same. Are all your answers correct? If yes, then you understood the topic. If not, just play the video once again. This ends our video for today. Till next video. Bye!